All right, so let's look at uh, operations with functions. We're going to uh, add, subtract, multiply, divide, and we're going to do the composition of the two functions. So here's our two functions that we're going to be working with. If you want to write them down now, you can, because I'll, I'll switch over to WX Maxima in just a second. And so, I mean, I'll type them in there, but if you want to write them down, you can. And we're going to add, subtract, multiply them. We're going to divide them, and then we'll do the compositions. Okay, but I would recommend you watch the whole video because on some of these, the answer that WX Maxima returns is might look weird, and I'm going to show you how to uh, how you fix it once you get that answer. All right, so. So let's come over here to WX Maxima and let's go ahead and define our functions. So uh, we get f is 2x. Now remember, if you've watched the other videos, you cannot put 2x. You have to put 2 times x minus 1. And remember, we can put, if you've watched the other ones, you can put the semicolon enter and it'll repeat the function back or if we want to we can put the dollar sign hit enter and it just doesn't show the function and I did hit enter but now by hitting enter if I enter in the next one just I'm not going to enter in the entire function but I'll just put g x squared you see how it puts it in two separate and let's change that to a dollar sign. See how it puts it in two separate cells here? What I can do is, or, or what you can do is when you're here, hold the shift key down and hit enter, and it'll keep it in the same cell, and we'll define g. That is x squared plus x minus 2 and I will hit the dollar sign and now we can hit enter and you can see it keeps it in the same cell. Alright, so well it's it's really easy. I mean F plus G so you just type in F plus G and that's what we're doing. Adding the two functions. We hit enter and there's our answer. And then the same thing with subtracting F minus G we hit enter Okay. Now, th this is what I want you to see. F times G. Let's multiply the two. Hit enter. Well, look what it did. It, it, it's exactly what it did. It put this times this, and that's how it wrote it. But that's not really how we want it. Okay. So we want it, we want it to be multiplied out and then simplified. So the way that we take care of that is we hit expand or type in expand parentheses and what do we want to expand we want to expand this previous result here okay so in WX Maxima you can recall a previous solution by putting a percent what the percent does is it recalls the previous solution and then we hit enter and you see it it multiplies it out okay now something else we could have done I mean if you know I mean now you know it does that okay but if you don't want to do this and then this you could you could come in here and and type in expand I want to put parentheses around that so to do that, you just highlight it, and it'll throw the parentheses around them all, around the, that whole thing that you have highlighted. And then hit Enter, and see, it'll just go ahead and do it there. You don't have to do another line. So like I said, that's up to you. All right, now let's do F divided by G. So F over G, hit Enter, and there it is. Now, what we can do, I mean... I wonder if this reduces. I wonder if WX Maxima would reduce this. Well, I'm gonna. I've got a video. I'll have a video up uh, on reducing rational expressions. You can check that out. But you know, for right now, 
look at this. Let's type in factor and then percent to recall this answer. Hit enter. And basically what it did, it just it factored this. This won't factor. If it would have factored, it would have factored it. But it factored this denominator here. And you know, that's as that's as simple as it, that's as much as you can reduce it. All right, so now let's do the composition. Okay, so what we're going to have to do with the composition, you see how we define the functions f and then a colon and then the expression here. Okay, well, if I, def I, I want to define the functions a different way when I'm doing the composition. So let's let's define that first function as f of x colon equals, put a colon equals when you're defining, when you have f of x and then your expression, and that would be the 2 times x minus 1, and I'm going to dollar sign, and I'm going to do shift enter, keep it in the same cell, and then g of x, and then colon equals, and then I'm going to do the x squared plus x minus 2, and I'll put the dollar sign so it don't throw the function down like I showed you earlier and hit enter. Okay, so now I've got them defined. Now I want to do f circle g of x. Okay, now let me just just remember, just remember the composition f circle g of x. Okay, this right here. Remember the formula for that. That's f of g of x and then the other one g circle f of x is g of f of x okay so this is how we're going to need to put it in there so let's jump back over here so I want f of g of x okay hit enter and there's your answer well well you see what happened it's this. Well, we don't want that, do we? So what do we do? We expand and we can recall the previous. Yes, and if you wanted to, you could put expand and put this in parentheses. You know, just like I did earlier here. Okay, you can do that. Okay, and then you hit enter and there's your answer. And then the same thing if we want to find G circle F so that's g of f of x, hit enter, and once again it gives us an answer like this. Well, all we have to do is expand whoop, percent and hit enter, and there's your answer. All right, so I hope this, I hope this video helped. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos. Thanks.